Hi guys, this is Miss Nelson again. Um, we are going to practice in this tutorial modeling algebraic expressions that have two operations, meaning that they have two things that you have to do. The first thing is what comes in the parentheses and then something else. So they gave us one that's already finished here. They said model the product of m times 4 plus 7. You always do what's in the parentheses first. So first step or first action is to model m times 4. So they did m four times. And then they finished their first step, so they're moving on to their second step, which is to add 7. So they drew a rectangle that's as big as 4m's, and they added on 7. So we're going to do this. We're going to try the same thing over here. We're going to model t divided by 2, and then we're going to subtract 4 from that. So first action, or first thing that we draw, is what's in parentheses. So we're going to draw t. I label it t. I'm going to divide it into two equal parts. So split it right down the middle into two equal parts. So then we're going to take that and we're going to subtract. Sorry guys, I need to erase that. I did it a little too big, didn't I? Erase this part of it. Because after we divided it by 2, then we would need to take what it was left and subtract 4. So if I divided t into 2, I would be left with this, and I would have to subtract 4 from that. Subtract is a dotted line. So there's my model for t divided by 2, and then subtract 4. Let's try it again with p minus 9, and then add 6. I do what's in the parentheses first. So I'm going to draw p, and then I'm going to subtract with a dotted line, showing that it would just be like cutting that off, subtracting is. Subtracting 9. Done with my first step with the parentheses, so I draw a rectangle that would show what would be left after I subtracted 9. So this is the size of what would be left after I subtracted 9. And then I'm going to add on 6. Add on 6. Adding is a solid box. See how I didn't make my 6 box as big as my 9 was up here? Because 6 is smaller than 9. That's it for number three. We're done with that. Let's move on to number four. We always do what's in the parentheses first. So my first action, the first thing that I need to model is w plus three. So I'm making a rectangle, labeling it w, adding on to that three. So after I did that, I would be left with a rectangle that's this big. And then I can do my second, uh, part, which is divide what was left into five equal parts. So I'm going to try to get my boxes as equal to five as possible. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I divided what was left after I added on three into five equal parts. And that's it. Hopefully that is a little bit helpful, a little more on modeling algebraic expressions with two operations. The first operation being what's in parentheses, and the second operation being what comes after you do what's in parentheses. Thanks.